Okay guys, so today we'll be making a mini wreath. To start the base, you're gonna need these little mini wreath forms. They come two in a pack at Dollar Tree. And for our base, you will need one of the boas that you can find at the Dollar Tree also. And they're usually in the kids section, they just say boa. So I'm actually going to use a baby pink one for this tutorial. And all we're going to do to start this base is simply glue one piece. Let me show you guys. So on the ends of these, there's some string. You're going to start the wreath off by putting some glue on the string, wrapping it around. And all you're going to do is simply wrap the boa all the way around till you get to the end. And at the other end, there's another string. You're just going to go ahead and glue that part to the end also. That is it for the base of this wreath. So as you can see, this is what we end up with. And I don't know if you guys could tell from the video, but I just applied glue where I started. I wrapped it around and I applied glue where at the end also. And basically all I'm gluing down are these strings that come on the boas. That's all that I'm gluing down. So the rest of this is wrapped. Now this is what you're left with. And guys, don't forget this is a mini wreath. So you decide whether you want to be fluffy like this. You see how you can't really see the middle. I don't like that. I want to be able to see the middle. So what I'm going to do is take some of these boas, I mean these feathers, and kind of adhere them down so that they're facing more out and I can see more of this middle. And basically all you're going to do is embellish how you want. Um, these are one of the hearts that I hauled from one of those long welcome signs. I just took them off of the string. It came off really easily. And I'm thinking that I'm going to want to put this here. And that's going to be my vocal point. And I'm going to decorate around that. Guys, so to adhere this, you can simply add glue and glue it down. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to actually glue the this half of a pipe cleaner. Well, a little bit more than half. And I feel like that's going to give me more security. And I'll be able to wrap this tightly on the back. So I'm just going to go ahead and add some hot glue, nice little amount, right in that middle. And I'm just going to plop that down, give that some time to dry. Probably it'd be best if you guys use the whole pipe cleaner. And just glue it straight across not all the way to the corner but just about like right here for more security all right guys so I really want to bring out the white in here so I'm gonna we're gonna make some clusters that contain this white ribbon and this pink ribbon also so what I'm gonna use is this glitter ribbon that I got from the Dollar Tree around Christmas time. I'm pretty sure you probably could still find it. I'm not sure, but it's just some white um, glitter ribbon. And it's pretty thin. It feels like paper, but it's really pretty. So, Because I, I definitely want to bring out the white in this wreath. And then we're going to use some of this ribbon I hauled from Michaels. And it's just this really pretty uh, pink color with red foiled hearts. All right, so you're going to need about five inch strips of the white glitter. And then you're going to need two of, I think these are like three and a, three and three fourths of an inch. 
and we're just gonna layer these and how we're gonna do that is make sure that you do your tails and the way that we do our tails is by folding the corners and you're gonna start your cut where we're folding it not the open part but where we fold it you're just gonna snip that snip a little triangle like so for both sides so all we're gonna do is layer these now as you can tell with this pink ribbon the heart is facing one direction so we're gonna actually alternate it and turn this one upside down like so so we're just gonna do a couple of bundles of these ribbons like this take your pipe cleaner I actually cut this pipe cleaner within like three pieces for one because we don't need much and we're just gonna go ahead and wrap our pipe cleaner around our ribbon twist it in the back and then there you have your little bundle and you can go ahead and adjust it like so and all we're gonna do is place this these ribbon bundles all around our wreath so I went ahead and I added three I'm actually gonna do a fourth one here so all we're gonna do is take our pipe cleaner ends and we're just gonna weave it through the boa in between the bow and the wreath so stick it in there to the back turn it around and go ahead and secure your bundle by twisting the pipe cleaner like so all right and then there you have it. you can go ahead and fluff it up adjust it these feathers they're a little wild so you can go ahead and um you know just play with it to your liking there we go just move your ribbons I have planned on putting five actually let's go ahead and put five so there's four there let's do one more so again you're gonna grab your white ribbon and layer your pink alternating the direction like so so we're just going to place it like an X over top the middle one take your pipe cleaner wrap it around twist it and then go ahead and fix your bowl place it where you want it and go ahead and secure it stick it through and guys be careful it can, it can be a little confusing because it's boa all these feathers is kind of hard to find but you can just feel with your hands you'll be able to weave it through once you have both pieces in there go ahead and pull it through turn it around and secure it there we go and again you could just go ahead and play with your ribbons I really want the white to peek up so I'm just gonna go ahead and fluff up those whites and this white ribbon feels like paper so it's really easy to fold and adjust it there we go so this is what we have now you can stop here this looks pretty nice but I think that I want to add some type of embellishments to the middle of these clusters. Guys, use your imagination. Use whatever you have. I have tons of picks and um, different things. Let me show you guys. 
So I have tons of picks from the Dollar Tree. Different sizes. I have these table scatters. You can use those for the middle. Um, you can actually use some pom-poms in the middle would be really cute. Let's actually see how that looks. Kind of stand it up on this. I have like these cups with all my brushes and stuff. It's always good to kind of look at it face forward. I don't know what this piece is. Let me cut this out. So I guess it's part of the boa. But it's always good to look at it straight away so you can see how it will look when it's on the door or wherever you're going to hang it. So you can even grab these pom-poms and like, you know, stick them in there. Um, these are way too big. You can even alternate to a pom-pom and then maybe... I just hauled these from um, Party City. They're like little table scatters. They're smaller hearts. Can add those. We can do that. But yeah, I'm just gonna look at my supplies and see what I would, what I'm gonna decide on. Okay, using. so what I'm gonna decide on using are these table scatter from the Dollar Tree, and they're just like little felt glittered hearts and I'm gonna use all the smaller ones and I'm gonna alternate between the pink and the red so I'm just gonna grab a little bit of glue and I'm gonna glue that right in between my little ribbon clusters like so And then this one, I'm going to do a red one. So guys, be creative. You can, um, there's actually like two different sizes. You can layer these like this and add them. I'll actually add that one here. No, I'll add that one here. Because I kind of want to alternate between red and then pink, pink and red. I just want to give you guys options. Use what you have in your stash. That's pretty. I'll add another one like that right here. Um, we'll do the red, the big red in the background, and a smaller pink in the foreground. Like so. And then we'll go ahead and glue this one to there. Just like so. Look at how pretty, guys. And then right here, I'll just add a pink one. Just like that. And... As I said before, like this middle part, I really want it to be shown. So what you can do is whatever feathers are like in your way or whatnot, you can kind of pull, fold them over. Like you see how this keep coming in the middle? I'm going to turn this over and I'm just going to add a tiny bit of glue and just hold that down. Fold that down like so. And you can just do that throughout 
the wreath. Since it's such a small wreath, I really want that middle to show. I don't want that to get covered up. See here, this one's kind of covering my heart. So I'm just going to add a tiny bit of glue and fold that down. And that is it for this wreath, guys. It was so simple to make. It really didn't take much time at all. And this will actually be a really nice gift to give someone also for Valentine's Day. I'm going to go ahead and glue this one here. It's a long one in the back that keeps coming to the front. And that's it. I hope that you guys enjoyed this tutorial. Um, I hope that you're enjoying this series that I'm putting out for you guys. Make sure that you guys check out my playlist. I have a playlist on my channel. It's called, I believe, Poochie's Valentine Series. So make sure you check it out. I have a tons more videos for you guys. Some from last year. Some that I'm working on now. And give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed this video. If I get enough thumbs up, I'll do another wreath for you guys for the series. And I'll catch you guys next time. Bye.